hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will continue our discussion with uh, the subject of uh, radar systems and uh, engineering so far we have discussed uh, about the basic uh, concepts related to radar the generalized block diagram representation of a radar system about the various types of uh, radar configurations that are used and also about the various parameters of interest that are analyzed or measured using radar systems. So in this video we are going to discuss uh, about another important aspect uh, or we can say it is the most important element in the radar system which is the signal uh, the radio frequency signal is utilized in radar systems in different ways whether it is in pulsed uh, wave uh, of radio frequency uh, or uh, continuous waves that is a different thing but in general electromagnetic waves okay uh, that are used and we should understand the basic uh, things related to electromagnetic waves so that we can understand the functioning of radar and also from the uh, point of view of the subject of antenna theory which is very much related to radar systems from that point of view too this is very important okay so we have already discussed about uh, you know uh, in one way or the other about electromagnetic waves during the optoelectronics discussion where we discussed about the basic concepts related to light still we will uh, go in a systematic way and that's why i am putting this video out where we'll be having a very basic discussion about electromagnetic waves okay so first of all what are electromagnetic waves so from the name itself you can make out that uh, the electromagnetic waves they consist of both electric and magnetic field represented by vectors okay both electric and magnetic field vectors are present that is both magnitude and direction is associated with electric and magnetic field that's why the term vectors come into play okay both magnitude and direction so how these electric and magnetic field vectors are present so the electric and magnetic fields they are in mutually perpendicular directions something like this we can say electric field magnetic field we can visualize it with the help of the coordinate axis let us say x axis represents the direction of the electric field y axis represents the direction of the magnetic field then the z axis will represent the propagation or the movement the direction of movement of the electromagnetic wave okay this way so it can be done in any way you can also take you can also it is not compulsory that x axis will always represent the x uh, electric field you can also do it in the opposite way the x axis can represent the magnetic field the y axis can represent the electric field the z axis will represent the movement the direction of uh, the propagation of the electromagnetic wave or you can take it in the opposite way uh, the other way also the z axis can represent the electric field y axis will represent the magnetic field the x axis will then represent the movement so just to visualize it you just take the three coordinate axis x y and z because they are in mutually perpendicular directions so one represents electric field the other represents the magnetic field then the third one will represent the movement the direction of movement of the electromagnetic wave so we have already discussed about uh, the various uh, you know characteristic features of electromagnetic waves all in the opto -electro electronic section and also in various other uh, playlists uh, where uh, the discussion related to electromagnetic waves came into play 
so the basic mathematical representation of electromagnetic wave they can be represented by the equation in general electric field vector is of interest in for electrical electronics uh, in that field because that is used for conveying the data or the information whatever from one point to the other the electric field vector so that can be represented by e is equal to e subscript o which is the maximum amplitude cos kz minus omega t plus phi you can also take sine no problem so here these values the symbols they represent omega is the angular frequency 2 pi f k is the wave number which is 2 pi by lambda which is the wavelength then e0 is the maximum amplitude phi is the initial phase okay at t equals to 0 you can say so these symbols represent these values now the other basic signal characteristics or characteristics of electromagnetic waves that uh, we should know are about the amplitude time period frequency phase and wavelength okay these individual terms that are involved angular frequency or frequency phase and the amplitude so the amplitude is the maximum value of this signal okay the intensity of the signal the maximum value of the signal intensity generally the absolute value that is called as the amplitude or the peak amplitude so it is directly proportional to the energy content of the signal and depending on what parameter is being uh, measured it can be represented in different ways so generally as we are talking about electric signals they are measured in terms of volts or amperes voltage and current so let us say we have a simple sinusoidal signal so basically we will uh, try to approximate every other signal in terms of a sinusoidal signal to make the analysis simple so we have to represent it uh, we have to approximate it in the form of a sinusoidal signal so for this sinusoidal signal the maximum value of the amplitude in both the positive and negative peaks it is plus a and minus a so the absolute value becomes a so that is the peak amplitude here for this signal the peak amplitude is b both in the positive and negative directions it's plus b it is minus b so the amplitude or the peak amplitude is b the absolute value okay so this is about the amplitude the peak value or the absolute of the maximum value of the signal intensity then is time period and frequency so here again uh, we are taking a sinusoidal signal so here the signal starts at t equals to 0 from here then it takes uh, the path like this here again at this point at this point again this signal is again repeating itself okay so it is a periodic signal and the time taken by the signal to complete one complete waveform okay one complete waveform one complete pattern which it repeats itself at a fixed intervals of time here is this shape so that fixed time period after which it repeats itself or the time taken by the signal to complete one pattern one complete pattern or one complete repetitive pattern is called as the time period see after the fixed interval of time t it again repeats itself again repeats itself again after t it will again repeat itself so it is a periodic signal with time period t so time period is the time taken by the signal to complete one complete waveform pattern or it is the time inter uh, interval after which it again repeats itself in terms of the fixed repetitive 
pattern okay then frequency frequency is actually the number of such complete patterns or such complete waveforms by the signal or the electromagnetic wave in one second in one second how many such complete cycles are there complete cycles or complete waveform patterns of the signal are there in one second so here in one second it completes two patterns two patterns so here the frequency is 2 hertz and another interesting thing is we all know that time period is the reciprocal of frequency frequency is the reciprocal of time period time period unit is represented in seconds frequency in hertz again here in this signal this is the time period this is the fixed pattern fixed pattern here fixed pattern it repeats itself after fixed interval of time capital T this is the fixed pattern starting from zero positive peak negative peak ending here again pattern repeated again pattern repeated so this is the time period taken by the signal to complete one such pattern repetitive pattern now in one second how many complete patterns or complete waveforms or complete cycles are uh, done by the signal or the electromagnetic wave is one two three four four cycles in one second so here the frequency is four hertz time period is the reciprocal of frequency so here the time period is one by four seconds <coughs> sorry so frequency is the reciprocal of time period time period is the reciprocal of frequency okay so the next uh, important uh, characteristic of uh, electromagnetic wave or basic signal is phase so phase is basically the position of the waveform okay uh, at the initial time the starting time okay with respect to the origin what is the position of the waveform at time t equals to zero the initial time so it is measured in terms of degrees or in terms of radians the equation relating the two is pi radian that is pi is 3.14 radian is equal to 180 degrees so let us understand what phase is so let us say this signal this sinusoidal signal again we have taken a sinusoidal signal at time t equals to zero it is starting from the origin not from here okay like this starting from here or here or here exactly from the origin so here it has zero degree phase shift if we compare this signal with this signal see it is starting a little bit here from here okay behind the origin we can say so at time t equals to 0 this has a value 0 but it has some initial value because it is starting from here a little bit earlier so this has a 90 degree phase shift if we compare it with this signal a 90 degree phase shift okay again this signal one complete half cycle the positive half cycle is missing at time t equals to zero so one complete half cycle earlier it has started one complete half cycle the positive half cycle it has started earlier if we compare it with this signal okay one complete positive half cycle so one complete positive half cycle 180 degree phase shift here it is half of the positive half cycle earlier so 90 degree phase shift one complete half cycle 180 degree phase shift okay then similarly we can say if one complete half cycle and then a little bit of this the negative half cycle then it would have been 270 degree phase shift okay 270 degree phase shift one complete half cycle followed by one half of the negative half cycle it would have been like that then it would have been 270 degree phase shift and 360 degree phase shift is same as this 
zero degree phase shift. Okay, so 180 degree phase shift means this positive half cycle compared with this 90 degree phase shift is one portion of the positive half cycle earlier compared to this that is 90 degree phase shift and 270 degree phase shift is one complete positive half cycle and one half of the negative half cycle earlier when compared with this thing that is 270 degree phase shift next is wavelength so again wavelength is related to time period frequency all of that so wavelength is the distance traveled by the wave the signal in one period one time period that is t so wavelength is generally we can say it is distance which is speed into time so here wavelength is propagation speed of the wave into time period or we can say time period if we take the reciprocal one by frequency we can represent it as propagation speed by frequency so we can represent it lambda is equal to c into capital T where c is the speed of light in uh, space so okay okay so c into capital T or c into 1 by f for uh, 1 by frequency uh, time period so this is the representation of wavelength so wavelength is the distance traveled by the signal the wave in one time period during the time one the one such time interval equal to the time period the distance traveled by the signal so we can determine wavelength by determining the distance between two identical points on the wave okay here two identical points the starting points of the wave we determine the distance between them or like this and pick any two identical points on the wave okay here let's say we pick the point on the peak points of the positive half cycles of two successive cycles okay next to next the peak points that is if we have uh, done here the negative peaks it would have been give, it would have given the same wavelength so any two identical points on successive cycles pick any two identical points on successive cycles and it will give us the value of the wavelength so here we have discussed about the uh, basic nature of electromagnetic waves uh, and also about the mathematical representation about the basic characteristics of signals or electromagnetic waves. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Uh, thank you very much.